This morning in Roxbury, advocates for civil liberties tried to make the case for expanded legalization of marijuana. They released a report showing racial disparities in arrests for marijuana possession, even since the start of decriminalization. A ballot question next month would allow for recreational use of the drug to be legalized and regulated. You will never be able to tell me that people are not being arrested and prosecuted for cannabis possession. If this happened to me and Sharon over 14 grams, you can only imagine what is happening to our young people of color around the state in different areas. What if someone has two or three small bags of marijuana and maybe $80 in their pocket? Is that person, is that for their personal use or are they selling it? And one of the things we're seeing in the numbers and with, according to some reports that we at the ACLU have done is because of that subjectivity, right, or what appears to be subjective, a lot of times police and courts are charging those people when they're people of color, when they're people in communities of color, when they're black folks, that those people are getting charged with crimes like possession with intent to distribute that a lot of times can have mandatory minimums attached. So if they have a small amount and a police officer stops them, they can be arrested and arraigned before that amount is ever weighed. And therefore, they now have a permanent record on their quarry of being in charge with possession with intent to distribute. The racial disparities that continue to persist even after decriminalization are a problem. And that's why it is important that we talk about legalization because communities of color can no longer afford to bear the brunt of policing practices that disproportionately target them. As a black person, you're 3.9 times more likely uh, to be arrested over possession. Uh, this is really an issue of uh, disparity uh, versus opportunity. If we, if you vote, if you vote uh, yes, uh, then we're voting to actually get rid of the war on drugs and move towards a place where uh, there's actual opportunity.